So as you noted, I was uh, I was born in uh, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, but I'm a, I'm a I'm a fake Brazilian. I'm the world's worst <laughs> Brazilian. Uh, my Portuguese is horrible, but my 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 father actually was doing his PhD in sociology in the late 1960s, and he was studying uh, Brazilian student politics for his thesis. So he was he spent four years in 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 Brazil doing thesis research, uh, conveniently uh, avoiding the draft for the Vietnam War at, 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 the, at the same time. And so I was, I was born there. I'm a dual U.S.-Brazilian citizen, but I was less than two years old when my parents, uh, who were both American, moved me back to the, to the U.S. And, uh, yeah, my dad uh, got his Ph.D. in sociology, right around the time that I was that I was born and he was a sociology professor for many years began began as a Marxist sociology professor and had a textbook of uh, Marxist sociology and then sort of uh, retracted from uh, from Marxism to more sort of a conventional liberal point of view but he was at Rutgers University for 40 plus years. And I'd say I'd, certainly uh, Ted Gertzel, my dad, I mean, I learned a lot from Ted through my childhood and, and, and ongoingly because he, I mean, he knew a huge amount about not so much hard sciences, but everything in politics, uh, philosophy, hi hi history, history, and every economics, everything in, in the, in the, in the human domain. My, my grandfather, my mother's father, Leo Zwell, was a, a physical chemist, a, a crystallographer, and he's really the one who interested me in science in the, in, 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 in the first place, because he, he had worked with, you know, Linus Pauling and a whole, whole bunch of the famous uh, physicists and, 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 and chemists throughout the 1930s, 40s, 50s. 60. So that, that was an interesting world to to ha have a window into. He, he gave me his whole book collection on quantum mechanics and, and so forth when I, when, when I was a kid. I'd say it was my dad who got me into science fiction, though. I mean, my, my grandfather got me into math and science, but he was he was an experimentalist. He, he was he was a very hard nosed realist. My, my dad got me hooked on the original Star Trek and uh, Kirk and, and, and Spock and the, uh, you know, the vast unknown of alien civilizations and the uh, robots and the uh, telepathy and all, all the crazy stuff. So that, that uh, after seeing Star Trek in space 1999 and stuff on TV, I dug into science fiction literature very early on. My mom, while her, Career is in social work. She's a executive of a nonprofit social welfare organizations. She's she was always strong in mathematics, also, and she, she, I mean, she loved to teach me uh, astronomy, uh, physics, uh, al algebra, and so forth. So I, I'd say my my education. I, I didn't. My, my parents taught me a lot, and I was constantly reading school was just a chance to sit there and try to read a book uh on my, on my lap surreptitiously I, I, I didn't learn much from from teachers I, I, I would say I, I was pretty far ahead of the curriculum and then i i went to university at age 15 and graduated at 18 and then got my phd at at 22 and, and started my started my my career so that's uh i think by by that point i mean by the time i got my bachelor's degree at age 18 i certainly i'd already been thinking about the agi problem and how to create thinking machines for for a few years and uh, i was probably a bit over optimistic then I, I didn't understand how hard it is to build real systems that work i i sort of thought well the we basically know how the mind and brain work so it shouldn't be 
it shouldn't be that hard to to build a general intelligence based on this knowledge. And now, decades later, my basic understanding of the problem hasn't changed too much, but I've gained greater respect for the the challenges in in building large systems that uh, that require a lot of people to work together and you know integration of knowledge and expertise from from from, from different areas. Well, that's amazing.